This video is going to show you a quick and easy way to paint the Sherman 5 tanks from the Open Fire box set. I've assembled the Sherman according to the printed instructions. I got some tips for getting a better fit from the assembly article on the Flames of War website. There's a link to that in the notes for this video. I ended up with a couple of small gaps, but I was able to fill those quite effectively with a little extra poly cement. I've attached the model to an old paint pot with blue tack, so I don't have to touch it during painting. Undercoat the model using War Paint British Armour. If you don't have the spray can, you can brush on a base coat of Russian Uniform instead, but I recommend you use a spray-on primer first because it sticks better to plastic. I'm painting the turret separately, of course. Once the undercoat is dry, apply a wash of black shade, diluted about 50-50 with water. This will give the tank some shading and definition. You want the wash to pull in the cracks and recesses, not on the flat surfaces. So use a clean wet brush to move it around if it isn't sitting where you want it. Some people like to spray the model with gloss varnish before adding the wash. That makes this part easier, but it's not vital, so don't worry if you don't have any varnish. And the same for the turret. Make sure you give the wash time to dry completely. Next, dry brush the tank with Russian Uniform. Dry brushing is a useful technique. As the name suggests, make sure you start with a dry brush. Load your brush and wipe most of the paint off, then brush it across the surface of the model. This is going to even out the colour and clean up any areas where the wash hasn't settled neatly. Then do a highlight dry brush using Russian Uniform mixed with a small amount of green grey. This is a very light dry brush with almost all of the paint wiped off the brush. This will help define the edges of the model as well as giving it a weathered, dusty look. Next, paint the tracks black. Also paint the rubber road wheels. and the hull machine gun. The tools stowed on the outside were often painted the same colour as the tank, so you can leave them if you want. I'm going to paint them, so I'll paint them black as well. That will help them stand out. Once the black is dry, paint gunmetal grey onto the outside edges of the tracks. This is a bit like dry brushing, but with much more paint on the brush. Leave the centre of the tracks black though. The main part of the Sherman's track link, including these rectangular pads, was made out of solid rubber. Also paint the hull machine gun and the metal parts of the tools. For the wooden tool handles, paint them chocolate brown, then highlight them with flat earth. There we go, a quick and simple paint job. Over time you'll learn more advanced painting techniques, but this is an easy way of getting your Sherman 5s and Sherman Fireflies ready for battle. Thanks for watching.